So what we have here is a diagram of a result of a three-year investigation into the city of Soap Lake, Inc. And this diagram is being shared with the Washington State Auditor's Office, who volunteers of the Infinite Freedom Foundations and the Bank Activities Reform Commission uh, is asking the State Auditor's Office and the Grant County Commissioners and the Grant County Prosecuting Attorney Angus Lee to work with the federal government, DEA, ATF, FBI, CIA, the District Attorney, the U.S. Marshals, the Justice Department, and the District Attorney, Federal Prosecutor. Uh, there seems to be a conflict of interest with the Grant County Treasurer being also the Treasurer of Masker's Theater and Team Up Realty, which is owned by Gary Mann Real Estate, and the Grant County Journal, which publishes false and misleading stories about what's really going on in Soap Lake. And we have iFiber One News, which is owned by about 60 shareholders, and the Samus Foundation, Rimrock Realty, the Soap Lake Food Bank, the Barbershop across the street, the Water Department, and the Soap Lake Art Museums, uh, all involved in one way or another, with a gigantic money laundering operation where drugs and government money that is used to pay for people's welfare under the Social Security Administration and the Department of Social and Health Services is run through the city council uh, in one way or another. And this money seems to flow through the Soap Lake Chamber of Commerce, the Soap Lake Urban Homesteads, and countless other nonprofit enterprises all being managed and controlled via the city clerk. So there you have it, folks. Uh, stay tuned for more details of this spectacular story of corruption and money laundering in Soap Lake, Washington.